Avalon West Knees. Rowing was something I wanted to pursue. RBC Training Ground helped fund that dream. Uh, definitely, it's, I pay for everything myself, I pay for my school, I do everything on my own. So having that kind of support has been huge. But if it's at four, I'm racing it. I was just selected to go race um, World Cup with the senior team, and that is huge. I'm feeling a little, a little overwhelmed by it, but because I knew I have big shoes to fill. Oh, it's huge. I mean, she, she keeps going well. She could end up at Tokyo Olympics, which is obviously what, what, we, uh, what we're aiming for and what we get judged on. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be trying to do our best to get her there. A lot of pressure is put on people to go to the Olympics, and I think that being able to be picked to go to the Olympics, that one shot, would be a pretty crazy feeling. It is just this huge opportunity. Hopefully one day I'll go. Might not have to be 2020, but that'd be pretty cool. It feels amazing just knowing that it was all worth it. It just lets me know that I have what it takes to continue striving the way I am and pushing myself. From that moment, Avalon's athletic career goals became clear. Her passion had always been skiing, but coming from a family where rowing was at the forefront, there was always a little nudge to hop in the boat and see what happens. Winning RBC Training Ground provided Avalon with a structured path to achieve her Olympic dream. It did make me, you know, like, okay, I can do this. Other people think I can do this. So I, I'm more dedicated, I feel like now, to push myself. It's been a dream one day to go to the Olympics. Given all the feedback I've gotten from other people, like coaches and family members, I definitely feel like I'm on the right path, and I've personally been enjoying it a lot. BC winner Avalon Westmies was fast-tracked in her chosen sport of rowing. The Campbell River teenager is now with Canada's national development team. We've come to Victoria to check in on Avalon. Everyone at the University of Victoria's rowing team knows she's a special athlete, but a last minute decision to compete in RBC training ground made her believe it too. Like I literally decided the night before to go to qualifiers and I was like, oh, okay, sure, I'll just go for fun. And then I ended up winning. So I was kind of shocked. I was like, oh really, <laughs> me? Maybe the reason she was so surprised is because she started rowing less than two years ago. You see, Avalon grew up cross-country skiing and made it to the junior national level. But she was raised in a family of rowers. My mom was a rower. She was in the Olympic team for 1984, 1988. My aunt was a rower. My dad was a rower, both my siblings. Like, it's just in the family, I guess. For years, Avalon resisted her mom's pleas to follow in her footsteps. And I'd always just laugh, I'm like, no, mom, like, I, <laughs> I will not do that. Skiing is the perfect sport for me. But then once I made that decision by myself, I just immediately got excited and I haven't looked back. Since winning RBC Training Ground, Avalon is looking to the future. She's working with Rowing Canada on developing a roadmap for herself. What I feel like has happened for Avalon in the last couple months is that she started to really put some detail to that pathway. And I think that's the coolest thing about this event and about this project. Through RBC Training Ground, Avalon now has access to specialized training and coaching, as well as financial support to become a full-time athlete this summer. It's also given her the belief that she can be an Olympian one day. It did make me, you know, like, okay, I can do this. Other people think I can do this. So I, I'm more dedicated, I feel like now, to push myself. It's been a dream one day to go to the Olympics. Given all the feedback I've gotten from other people, like coaches and family members, I definitely feel like I'm on the right path. And I've personally been enjoying it a lot.